So in previous video we've seen how to use the uh, um, Quarkus uh, native uh, applications in Maven and how to build them in Docker. Then we're gonna see the same thing but in Gradle. So the first thing first, let's create our project. Um, I think we use the a default one, this one, native image. Uh, so I'll modify it as a little bit native image Gradle. So one thing that we'll need to add here is uh, minus the build to equals gradle and we are ready to go so this will generate our uh, gradle project it was really really fast and let's open it up in uh, so it's native image gradle and um, so yeah so let's open it up in an intellij id as well For normal application of course you use gradle um, uh, build like this and um, so it will go through the test and at the end you'll have, um, um, if you go to the build folder, you'll have a native image gradle 1.0 snapshot runner. So this is normal Java minus jar native image. Um, so this is just a normal jar. It took 0 0.8 seconds. So you can also use a um, gradle quarkus build. Uh, this is basically the same stuff. Uh, this will uh, generate uh, um, the um, Java for you and you can also use a Uber jar flag uh, to specify that you want to package everything together. So now if you go to the build folder um, and you the lessons of A, you will see that it's uh, weighted a little bit more than usual. So it's uh, almost one megabyte. And uh, so again, you can call Java minus jar uh, Quarkus uh, native image Gradle 1.0 snapshot runner. So this will work. You will see that it's 0.6 seconds after we re reused it. So there is like, you can run it one more time. You see 0.6, so it's like one second to start. That's not bad, but for, I mean, what for, for, for the functionality that we have here is like nothing. So the one second is actually a lot so uh, what you can do of course is to run um, um, gradlev uh, let's go to the back to the native uh, the main folder so to build the native image you can use a gradlev native um, build native like this so if you're familiar with gradle actually gradlev sorry gradlev if you're familiar with Gradle, you know that they um, um, combine um, uh, keywords together uh, to make a new specified uh, command. So in this case, uh, there is a build command, right? Uh, called build command, uh, you can use it. But if you put um, in a camel case, you put a specific profile, for example, build native, it will build a native app. For example, in Android, uh, you can use the same thing if you use um, for example, I don't know, uh, if you use a few projects, you can build specific project or profile as well. So um, with this thing, you'll build not just a normal, uh, you, you won't do a normal build, you will do the native build. So that's why um, there is a difference between Gradlev, uh, Quarkus build, uh, that you can, Gradlev, sorry, uh, that you can run, right? Uh, and uh, uh, that's why it's not uh, conf um, um, confronting to this logic because the build is at the end. Uh, so they did it uh, purposefully uh, to make it more, um, let's say, um, dynamic. So you can do the Gradlev um, build uh, um, Uber jar like this. This won't work. Uh, but with the Quarkus build, you can do it. So, but uh, not not the point. Um, let's go. Uh, let's do the Gradlev um, build native. Uh, so with this thing, you will build a native image. It will take a while, of course. Uh, I will say it for sure. So, um, um, yeah, this will take maybe sixty seconds or something like this. So the other thing that you can do is to use the Gradlev build native uh, slash slash info to see information what's going on with the with the Gradle uh, at, at this moment. So this will help you to 
uh, see output basically because in Maven you see everything uh, with the guide lift you don't see uh, uh, like um, some of the information so in this case you see that we are building in native image even though there is no information about what's going on uh, this can be done with the debug or something like this um, so yeah let's wait a little bit all right so it took um, in total 58 seconds um, comparably is the same um, we, we can take into account so again the machine is the macbook pro 15 2018 with the i7 and 16 gigabytes of memory uh, take into account that uh, yesterday or like in the in the previous video with the maven uh, it took pro probably more because um, i have a, a fan limitation so that you can hear something instead of like the noise 24 7 so that uh, may take some problems may prolong the build time so um so yeah that was 87 seconds we can go to the build folder as well and um, <clears throat> you can see that we have now an, a runner uh, with nothing but the jar so again let's run a java minus jar um, jar right so let's see what so it's 0.6 seconds as it was before and let's uh, call a native um, runner without anything and it was 0 0.01 second as a, as a as a maven there is nothing different between the gradle and maven in terms of the build process we just need to show you i just want to show that it's working and the last thing that you can use with the um, build native is of course um use a docker build and so one more thing that you can do with the um with the docker uh, with native build is of course uh um gradlif let's go to the folder um to the root folder and uh, use the gradlif build native so for the next step you need to have docker up and running don't forget about this so check the docker ps for example if you have something working uh as was with me and I spent like 20 minutes figuring out what's not working so the next thing that you can do uh, to build a native image inside of the container uh, for the Quarkus there is an image that they use uh, so that it will be a platform independent whatever you uh, whatever you do it or it is on a Linux on Mac on Windows you have the same output because you use the same container uh, that you use for the build so um you can call it gradlif uh build the native and then just use a, a docker build equals true that's it so you uh, prepare a, a docker build and uh, let's actually add the info as well so that we know what what we time will, will be spent for it and um yeah you can see that we are um, using Gradle basically to build um, an image in a, in a uh, um, Docker container. So I would suggest you to use it all the time to build it inside of the container and not on your machine unless you, you need it. Um, so yeah, let's wait a little bit, uh, like 40 seconds before it finishes. Yeah, so it took a little bit more than usual, maybe because I forgot to disable my fan uh, limit. So it took, uh, augmentation took 78 seconds and uh, uh, 1 minute and 19 seconds, or like uh, total, like from start to finish, it was 1 and 32 seconds to build. But it's worth it because you have a Docker. Um, maybe it was loading some images as well, I'm not sure. Uh, but we can go to the build folder. And um, actually, we don't need it right now. So uh, the thing we need is uh, located in the Docker file native. And uh, so we need to build our uh, Docker file native image uh, with the, um, you know, the, uh, so let's let's build our uh, image from, from the logic here. And it actually should work correctly because we have a build folder so it's even though it says maven package native uh, blah 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 so we still use gradle so they haven't updated yet but well um better to have something than nothing 
So we just run a docker build minus f and then the location of the file, docker file native, and then tagging uh, Clark with native image cradle and the, the dot. So we have the docker app running and uh, so we can just uh, run it with this second uh, command here and it will take like, you know, again, 0 0.013. So 13 milliseconds, and uh, you know, with this with this um, speed, you can just run a thousand of them like simultaneously if you need. So you can scale it really fast. And the same thing that I told you yesterday about everything else. So yeah, that's how you build uh, um, native applications with Gradle. And uh, I hope you liked it. And maybe you will uh, you won't try to use a Gradle. If you want safety, just use a Maven for now. Uh, once you can see that Cradle is stable enough to, to be out of experimental stage, then you can switch to it. But yeah, in, in most of the cases, if you don't have like something with 40,000 dependencies and um, uh, like maybe uh, so sub projects, a lot of sub projects, uh, this should be safe to use. So yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.